this is just to me getting bikini top vibes and I'm not digging it for the gym. It's not doing anything for me up here. Very, very excited about this. to my channel thank you so much for joining me in this video today if you're new here we talk all things wellness and fitness and how i fit it into my busy schedule as a mom of two kids all right i have a mini gym shark haul for you today just a couple of items that i snagged from their spring sale i didn't want to buy too much because i know they have a lot of new styles coming out for spring and summer but i did have a few things in my cart that i was waiting to go on sale so i wanted to let you know what i snagged now i rarely rarely buy anything regular price from Gymshark because they have pretty frequent sales going on. I think it's silly to buy things at regular price. The only thing that you need to keep in mind and keep track of is that the items that you're purchasing are not final sales. So for some reason, some sale items end up being final sale. So I do not like purchasing final sale items because even if it's something you already have, sometimes in a different color, it may fit a little bit different. All right, let's get into this. Now, I've had very, very poor luck with Gymshark sports bras. I am always drawn to them because the models that they have online and the influencers that I see wearing the sports bras look so, so good. But for some reason, every single sports bra I've tried from Gymshark does not look good on me. On a good day, I'm a 32B. I do have slightly broader shoulders. I just find size extra small, doesn't look great on me. It feels a little bit snug, makes me look really flat. And then size small is a little bit too big in a cup size. But once again, I was drawn to the sale prices. So I did buy two different sports bras to try and I'm hoping that they work for me. If not, we are going to have to return or exchange them. Now I will try these on for you so you can see what they look like. The first thing that I snagged, it was just another white pump cover. So I love white pump covers and the main reason is because I buy colored leggings and then I have a hard time matching sports bras to them. So I find with colored leggings, if I just put on a black or a white pump cover, then I'm good to go, I look put together. It's just plain, there's no big graphic details on the back, nothing like that. This isn't a size extra small and that is my true size. I will leave my measurements in the description below so you can take a peek at my measurements. I do generally wear a size extra small at Gymshark. Now some the t-shirts and the joggers I can generally get away wearing a small because it is an oversized fit but this is the training oversized t-shirt extra small in white and I just wanted something super plain that didn't have any crazy logos on it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this guy on so you can see what the oversized look looks like. Right, so I looked absolutely ridiculous with the oversized jeans on with the oversized t-shirt. So I did just put on a pair of sweat shorts so that you can get an idea of how it's supposed to sit. Really nice oversized t-shirt, just covering my butt, which is great. Generally, if I'm wearing leggings, um, I might either tie it in the front or just tuck it into my sports bra in the front so it looks like this. Again, there's no big logos or anything, just the Gymshark logo right on the front and in the back. Nice, clean, white tee. Really good purchase, on sale, can't go wrong. Even if it was final sale, I mean, I still would've snagged it because you can't go wrong with a basic tee pump cover. All right, I need a sip of coffee. Right, next day is something that I haven't seen too many people try on or talk about, but it is the cami and I can't remember the exact name and there's no tag on this. So I'll, uh, I'll just put the name here so you can see, but it's just a basic crop cami. It's got these really thin straps on them and just a small Gymshark logo here. Now, I'm a little disappointed. I obviously read the description incorrectly. I thought that there was removable cup pads in this, but it looks like I'm going to have to wear a sports bra underneath. It is double lined at the cup, so I think that's to provide a little bit more coverage and maybe not see your nipples, um, but yeah, there's no way that I can rock this without wearing a sports bra. So I'm gonna put a sports bra on and give this a go and see if this is something that I want to keep or return. Okay, so it didn't look great with a sports bra underneath. It's a very soft, nice material and you can definitely see my nipples. So it's not something that I'm comfortable wearing in the gym like this. Now I do have other shirts like this and one of the advantages of not having a big chest. I can wear nipple covers in place of removable bra pads for different shirts and bras that don't have 
the removable cup pads. So I'm gonna put some nipple covers on and see if that helps this situation or if I'm just gonna have to return. Cute, right? It's not bad. I love how comfortable it is. Um, the straps itself are not adjustable, as you can see in the back, but you know, they fit really well. Nothing's really digging in. Everything's really stretchy. However, I really wish there was removable cup pads in this. So I am wearing nipple covers right now, but I can only wear these or this type of shirt on a day where I'm not gonna sweat a lot and I sweat a lot regardless. So maybe on an upper body day when I'm not sweating, I could probably pull this off with some nipple covers, but I'm not comfortable wearing this in the gym without them. It's just not, it's just me. I'm just, I'm just not comfortable doing it. Um, some people are and that's great, but I would have to be either wearing a pump cover on top of this or wearing the nipple cover. So I don't know. I think maybe it's going to be a return for me. And obviously, you know, it's not, it's not doing anything for me up here. I mean, I know that I don't have much, but, um, I like bras that make me look like I have a little bit of something going on. So yes, I don't know. Let me know what you think. I think it's going to be a return for me. Um, again, I'm a little bit disappointed because it's so soft everywhere. It's so comfortable and you know, I could maybe just keep it to lounge around the house in, but for going to the gym, this is not it for me. Right, next is an item that has been sitting in my cart probably for months. And I'm so excited that this color finally went on sale. It's the Loopback Sweat Crew in the color Duck Egg Blue, I believe. Just a really thick sweater for winter. Oh yes, look at that color. This is so beautiful. It's such a nice, thick material. Feels really high quality. It does have the half zip and the tie to cinch at the waist. I'm gonna put this on and let's see how this looks. I am loving this. This is so beautiful, so comfortable. I have pretty long arms. I did get my extra small. Sometimes in hoodies I have to size up if the sleeves I feel like are going to be too short on me, but these ones, I think the style of it, it just fits perfectly. Really, really loving it. It's got the half zip so you can zip it all the way up if needed. And with the cinch waist, oh, this is so good. I love the side tie. I definitely have some other hoodies that cinch right at the front here, but I hate having like those dangly strings at the front. So now you just got it on the side. Exactly what I wear when I'm warming up at the gym with some leggings and my sports bra underneath. Oh, it is so good. I'm so excited about this one and the color is just something I haven't seen before. I love the crop. It's sitting just right, just exactly where I want it to. I just love this style. I'm so happy with this piece. You know, if it wasn't for sales, I would honestly just buy black everything, but black isn't the color that usually tends to go on sale. So because I don't like to buy items at regular price, I tend to just buy the sale colors. And I'm so, so glad that this color went on sale first before the black and the gray, because I think it's something that I don't have in my wardrobe right now. And I'm so excited. About it. Okay, last but not least, I do not know why I do this to myself, but I bought something that I kind of already know won't work, but I just want to try it. I just want to try it. I get influenced so easily by the models online, but I know that my body type is so different than theirs that this is just not going to look good on me, but I needed to try it. I am talking about the minimal sports bra. Now I know some of you swear by this sports bra. I'm sure it looks phenomenal on you, but I just don't think that this is going to look great on me. If you watch my honor active video, you know that I love this style of bra but there are no removable cup pads in this bra and that's why I went with the timeless strappy bralette that Honor Active has because there is removable cup pads in that but this orange color it called to me it was on sale in fact I think it was the one of the only colors that was on sale I mean look at that I know you've all seen the minimal sports bra I know you all probably have your opinions on it I'm so excited I just wish I hope, hope 2024, they'll come with, out with a style similar to this that has removable cup pads. Please, please, please. All right, I'm gonna give this a go. I don't have high hopes for it. I need to like psych myself up here. I looked ridiculous in it without the nipple covers on. I did put those on feeling slightly more comfortable, but I just think it's not for me and my body type. I did choose an extra small here, but once again, I just feel like there's not enough room here. I'm getting a little bit of 
I don't know what this is, arm fat on the side. I wish there was just a little bit more coverage on the side. I could probably go with a small, but then I would worry that this underband would be a little bit too big because right now it's feeling perfect as is. So sizing up is probably not a good idea for me. It's just so great in the back. I would love it for a great back day. Strappy, you can actually remove the straps. You can make it a halter. There's so many different types of ways that you can wear this. I'm just feeling a little uncomfortable with the digging in right here. If I was to try to pull it a little bit, then you would see my nipple covers. <sighs> I just wanted it to work so badly. I think I'm gonna have to stick with the timeless strappy bralette, get more colors in that, even though it's more expensive and I have to pay duties, which sucks. Ugh. Oh, dang. Maybe one day they will switch up the bra and release something that has some removable cup pads and I'll give it another go. That's all I have for my haul. I mean, I'd say two out of four was pretty decent. I think I'm gonna have to return the minimal bra and I'm also going to have to return the strappy cami. Maybe sports bras from Gymshark just aren't something that's gonna work for me. But I am very excited about the plain pump cover I got and very excited about the loop back crew sweater here. Ah, so nice. Now I think the sale is still going on. Be sure to snag some of your favorite items. Again, make sure that what you're buying isn't final sale so that you have the opportunity to return or exchange them. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I love doing reviews of fitness, clothing. I also have a swimwear review coming up. It is spring. The summer is just around the corner. So excited to get into my favorite season. I hope you all have a great day. Bye for now.